wedding pictures, isn't it? How come they're separate? <laughs> we never got they did marry to each other. <laughs> That's the way they put them. Never know. How come they're I mean, separate? Did they not do that back then? Take take wedding pictures together or something? Or? Well, they did. We wanted ours that way, but I guess we wanted to be different. Something I don't I brought this up because it had the thing with the, the whole write-up on on Grandpa Thompson, doesn't it? Isn't this the one that has? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. So. It's got the older uh, obituary. Obituary? Okay. All right, what's... Now, is he taken here? That's uh, taken out when Grandma and Grandpa lived out wherever. Out in the country. Yeah. What part? part? Oh, is Grandpa Thompson the earliest descendant that, that you traced back, or do you know who was before oh, him? Oh, um, uh, Kim has got back further than that. But well, I yeah, but she wouldn't have Grandpa Thompson, would she? Did she go back, clear back on the Thompson side? She went into Denmark and visited some of the relatives. Oh, did she? Oh, on I the knew Thompson she did side. the Lunds, but I didn't know she did on the Thompson side. Okay, so Grandpa, you don't know who's before Grandpa Thompson. Mm -mm. I don't know what his dad about I mean, And Francis asked me over to the lake the other day if um, uh, his dad ever come over here, and I said no, he didn't. I, I think his dad was dead before they tried to come over. And you see, he and one brother came over first, and then they sent back and got. Uh, his mother and Aunt Mary and Chris and um, what was the other one? What was the other one over Cairo? George. George and Chris, no. Now, how were they related to? And they were all dad's brothers. Stephen, Stephen Christian Thompson. And they were all brothers and sisters of his? Mm -hmm. Okay. He only had one sister, and that was Mary. And I don't know what his mo uh, mother's name was. Mom never talked much about it. The only thing she said was when uh, when she died, she got in such terrible shape. I think she was living with uh, Aunt Mary, probably. And when you go there, when Dad would go there to visit, by you know, she had a cancer of the rectum. Oh, that's she, his sister there, isn't it? Or anybody would go there. She'd just take some of that stuff and down there and throw it at him. So oh. he wouldn't go back. Well, now, now, Grandpa Thompson, now, do you know why he came over here? I mean, was he a I horse thief, too? <laughs> I don't no horse thief. Pretty honest, I do Did believe. he and Uncle Steve come together? Uncle Pete? I'm uh, not Uncle yeah. Pete. Yeah, they two came together, and they came to a place in Denison that you have to have a, a sponsor, you know. Even back then? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So they came to a place in Denison, and they worked there. For this guy, and I thought he—I I remembered his name for a long time. There's a picture of him when he was young. Grandpa oh, Thompson. Grandpa Thompson. Uh -huh. And then they come over into this county, and then they—no, that's all there is. Then they sent for this. Uh, Book. They sent for him, I think, two at a time, the way I understood it. But my aunt Mary and grandma, or his mom, dad's. Mom came together. But you don't know why he left. Well, where did he come from? Copenhagen area? Mm -hmm. Near Copenhagen. Not right in Copenhagen, but according to the... To the it wasn't the like they do from those from Germany. They come over to get out of serving in the army. A lot of them. Well, you know... Okay. Henry Bush went over here, and uh, they come over. They, there was one work for them. A Coleman and the other her, uh, Mother. Mother from Mother. Huh? Didn't one of them work from Mother? Yeah. Oh, and the uh, other for Coleman. Now, how did Grandpa Thompson then meet your mom? Well. Well, where did she come from? Where, that side well, of the Well, she came from Drakesville, down in the southeast part of the country, uh, Iowa. Any idea where her relatives, uh, her maiden they, her name was? Maid, her folks came over from England. From England. What was her maiden name? Uh, oh, 
Wheeler. Grandma Cabot's. No, no. Grandma Thompson. Grandma Thompson. Wheeler. Wheeler. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that's where the whole Quigley thing comes in. Yeah. When he, <laughs> when she was just a little girl, he ran off and he just walked out and left her, and and then Grandma, and she come was teaching school. And uh, I suppose they come up here with a bunch of the ones that were coming up here because a lot of those people come up in here because the, it was so much better land than it was down there. And I suppose they come up in that and, uh, and Grandpa Cat. They met her, uh, you know, as a school teacher. They had the social, the, the social part of life usually center around the schools. They'd always have parties and have box socials and even dances in the schoolhouse. And uh, he must have met her there. Well, then they got married, and, and they took um, Mom away from, I mean, they took Mom back to grow up with the Quigley kids. And that he, she had lived with his grandpa and grandma Taylor all those years, oh, until that. And I don't know how much difference there was between her and Jessie. I suppose I could look it up there. I think I got Jessie's obituary. Now, what's her first name? Ida Jane. Yeah, your, your mother's first name was Ida, Ida Jane Wheeler. Mm -hmm. And then she became Ida Jane Quigley. No. 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 She, Evidently not. She didn't when take Dad, that name. Her and Dad she didn't take married, the name. It was uh, Stephen C. Thompson and Ida Jane Wheeler. So she, she could have been a Quigley by, by what? Adoption? Or by marriage? By adoption. By adoption. Mm -hmm. She was a, kind of taken in by the Quigley family. Mm -hmm. And but she wasn't married to any of the Quigleys. No. She married Stephen Christian Thompson. That was the first time. Oh, okay. okay. She was yeah. just a little girl. But she was a half sister of theirs. So yeah. I mean, she's half sisters to all of them. You see, uh, her mother married George Quigley, <laughs> oh, and they okay. had these five or six or seven kids. And um, but her name was never changed. She still so, went by. Her. So your grandmother <coughs> was a Quigley. Okay. All History right. of you, Puscala. Oh, that's that's a piece of trash, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about the um, bug house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I should know some of this stuff after writing it. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so they they met at what a school thing, or, or do you know where they? I met? wouldn't doubt, but what they did, because uh, Grandpa Quigley played some kind of an instrument, and uh, that they always kind of played for dances. Do you remember any of their brothers and sisters' names? Oh, yeah. Uh, your your parents, what, what their brothers and oh. sisters' names were? Well, Dad had Uncle, there was Uncle Pete, Uncle Chris, Uncle Nels. Oh. And that's all, isn't it? And Aunt Mary. Mm -hmm. Aunt Mary. I think he had a brother or so that didn't come over. But I don't have the names for And then your mother? Was she an only child? Or? She was an only child at this wheeler, as far as I know. Um, Hello? She having a oh. good time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, uh, okay, all, uh, so there, then, they had, you had how many, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Me? All told, yeah, I lose count. Of hers? Of yours. Uh, mine? I had, they were, there was five boys and two girls in our family. Let's see, Clarence and... Fred, Fred and Clarence Well, and is this, in, is this in the order, yeah. the oldest team? Uh -huh. Okay, Fred and Clarence. Her and Kate and Harold and Percy and I and Howard. Seven of us. Okay. Oh, I thought one. you were the baby. No, Howard's no, no, baby. Howard's the baby. Said, uh, he's quite a bit younger, about nine years younger than I am. Really? Is he still up around mm -hmm. Oda Smithland. or Smithland? Mm -hmm. okay. Now, is are those their real names? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or were they known by aliases? No. no. Howard Morris. Yeah, well, that's just, and they were all called by their first names. They weren't like his family. They all called them this, and then, I mean, they named them two names, and then called them the middle name. Which gave him a lot of trouble when he went in service and stuff. Did, did Grandpa Thompson have any trouble with the language or anything? No, and he wouldn't let any of us learn to uh, speak Dane. He said, I didn't come over here to be a Dane. I'm going to be an American and you can speak English and that's it. He never left. <laughs> and outside of a few words, he did very well. Uh, let's see uh, if I can think of some of the words. 
What did he use C for? He always said C for something that you know, wasn't right. But something like C over there instead of look? No. He used it. He pronounced the word different than we pronounce it. Oh, it was something with a C in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. out, outside of that, she she did very well with the language, and so did Uncle Pete. You never know they ever was born. You know, but... it, it sounds like there were a lot of immigrants in this area at that time. I mean, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were a lot of, there was a lot of people come over from uh, Germany, and I think the reason why was because it got kind of crowded over there, and then was they weren't too prosperous. No, weren't too prosperous because you know didn't Carl Thompson come from uh, Denmark too, mm -hmm. and uh, they come over there because they were kind of limited. You just you just had so much, and that's all you could get. And they heard that you could, you know. Well, if you want to be a farmer, I suppose. Yeah. Having the space, did uh, uh, what? What year did he come over? Do you know? Well, he was 13 years old, and when is he born? In '68, wasn't it? '62. Well, over in '75. '75. Yeah. 1875. Mm -hmm. And he came to this area because of his sponsor. Come to Denison. To Denison. In Crawford County, and how he got over in this county, I'll never know. Where'd you live out here? Uh, they lived up in north of town on the Pasig Place. Uh, that's four miles north and how far east? Tappanville. Well, it's only about a mile east. And uh, well, the Edgington corner there. Oh. A mile east of Edgington? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I didn't know they lived out there. I didn't know anybody lived out there. I mean, oh. anybody from our family lived oh. out there. <laughs> well, that was a lot. They moved down there when either uh, Harold, I think, was just a tiny baby, and he was born. He's 11 years older than I am, so he'd be born in uh, uh, or 1893. Yeah, that's when he'd be born, and he was just a tiny baby when they lived out south of town in that big house. Which is the only seen, place I'm I'm sure. Sure. Yeah, the uh, well, who lives out there now? Labor. Um, who did? Lives there now. Oh. Craig Lynn. And they lived there until um, 1942, or and no, it's right after we moved up here. They moved up there within the next year. We moved here in 1939, and Christmas time, and they moved in that winter, or no. the next winter. I mean, for no, that cold. Now, what? And they lived there for a while, and then they went out and lived right straight south of uh, town in about 1942 or something, about the time they were going into service, maybe three, and lived there until, um, oh, they hadn't lived in town over two or three years when she died, and she died in 1949. Yeah, and your dad died in? 51. 51. Mm -hmm. um, now, what were they like? What was, it, what was their personality like? Well, <clears throat> I, I was a, a little short woman, and she she was a worker. She really she really got more work done than you could imagine. Can you get in a week? <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was well, well, he was quite a worker too, but he was one that he had to have the say about what each one of the boys did which Fred always complained about. He said, when we went out, we didn't have sense enough to do anything because we were always under his thumb the whole time that we were home. He was a domineering. Uh -huh. real, real strict disciplinarian? You bet. If you said something after he told you not to, he'd go, he'd fall right off the chair. <laughs> the only one that didn't get much of that was Howard, and it showed, too. <laughs> I bet Clarence was the most taxing one of the entire group. Why do I have that feeling? Yes, it, he was, because if he wasn't up on a windmill fixing a thing to run down like this, he was into some other meanness. <laughs> <laughs> now, but all of you really have a good sense of humor. Now, where'd that come from? Well, Mom had a real good sense of humor if she wasn't mad. <laughs> <laughs> she could get mad pretty easy, but... Now, where's your mommy? 
Is that, is that? No, that's, that's Clyde. Clyde. No, that's Clyde and Katie. Clyde and Katie. That's yeah. my sister. There's one in there. There's one in here, though, of you. Yeah. That's Grandpa's family. Yeah, right oh, here's Grandma. Right there, there's Kate and Mom and Grandma. Oops. That's this one in Twitch. This is Grandma. On the left? And that's Kate and that's Mom. Yeah, that's I Grandma. recognize that curl any place. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yeah. And then she, that's Grandpa over on the other page, Grandpa Thompson with Glenn. Well, now, how old was he at this time? Well, well that was during the, the war. Ned it and Glenn went. the 40s. In the 40s. So this may be six years before he died. He, gra right. he died in 51. 51, so. Well, that was while Glenn was in the service, and he went in in... Uh, he lived to be 90 then. 42. 89. 89 years old. Mm -hmm. Which was, I mean, back then especially, was... Mm -hmm. And Mom was 81, which was a very good age for them. Now, they lived out on the farm the entire time? And then no, no. they moved into town, and they lived in that um, third house from the corner down here in the second block. Down on the highway. It's a big Coming square up. house on the highway, oh. right next to that yellow one. And they lived there for two or three years, and that's where they both died. Okay, now, of your brothers and sisters, let me see now, who's still around? Howard? Howard. Howard. And Fred, whatever happened to Fred? Yeah, he did the uh, perforated ulcer. He went up to Sioux City and uh, was going to have an examination, and he didn't want to be operated on. And they brought him in a glass of milk, and the nurse said, I'll be back in a minute. And when he drank that milk with the perforated ulcer, you know, goes through your body, and he was dead when she came back. Uh, how old was he? That was in 46, wasn't it? The same year, yeah, 46. He was how much older than you. He and Marie both died the same year. Yeah, they did, because I was in the month. Mm -hmm. Right so, sister. Oh. 76 when he was born, wasn't he? 76? I don't know. No, no not that. Over he was No, I, I doubt it. And then, per now, Percy just died back They all in died in around the early 80s, or might be 79 or something like that. But well, I see, he was mm -hmm. born in 90, was it 96? Oh, that was Clarence, wasn't it? No, you said Harold was born in 93. He was 11 years older than you. And Kate was 13 years older than me. That would have been 91. Clarence was 15 years older than me. That would have been 89. And Fred was 17. They were just that would have been 87 then. 87 that he was born. Haley, yeah, I think it was 87. He died in 46. He was only 59. Yeah. He was 59, 50? Okay, now Percy just died back in the 70s, right? Yeah. He, he hadn't been dead too long. Now, it per was Percy his real? Percy was his real name. Yes. What did they call him though? Percy. Percy. Mm -hmm. Now, who am I? Who was I thinking? Well, maybe I was thinking of Reburn. Yeah, probably. Yeah. George. George. Uh, yeah. 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 I always well, got those two confused. They, they all called him the same, and none of the, none yeah. of my brothers except Fred was in the service, and he was in the navy. Oh, I mean Howard was, but then none of the others. Well, aside from Fred. All of your brothers and sisters, everybody's lived to a very ripe old age. Yeah, I and mean, he could have lived to a ripe old age if he'd have done like Dad himself. did yeah. and gone and had an operation. See, Dad had a couple operations for um, okay. ulcer. And you can't let them go. And... Do, do you know what happened to, to uh, Grandpa's brothers and sisters? Yeah, uh, two of them were killed in an automobile accident over in Crawford County. Did, are any of the, those relatives are still around here? Any family members from, from those times? Um, well, I don't know. There might be George. George Thompson had a young George, didn't he? Yeah. But uh, I don't know where he is. Now, the picture in here, well, where where did the Shipleys come from? I don't know. Pennsylvania, I guess. Well, they had to come my, from My dad lived it. in Wisconsin. Well, but originally it was S H I P L E I G H Ship Lee. I think so. We'll have to go. What Sadie's had or yeah. something. Yeah, it's in English. Mm -hmm. But I never knew that name. No, they didn't do that after they come to the United States. No, that's so they were sure. But do you, you don't know what what grandparent or parent came over actually came over from England. Well, I think it was the George Shipley with the original 
Shipley. There's about four, many about four Jody Shipleys in the family. Yeah. Um, isn't it uh, Brucey's wife that has all of this yeah. history written out to oh, get it from her? Oh, oh that's right. I think I've really seen it. got it written out. Mm -hmm. And so does Kim. No. Yeah, they've really delved into it. Now, what was the relation? How did the Cabots come into play? I can't tell you that. Well, <laughs> uh, well, his dad died in 1909. And uh, Grandma had all these kids. Fred was the youngest, and he was only about six weeks old or three months old or something like that. And so uh, she was running the cafe, and she was having a struggle. And he had lost his wife, and so he married her. And they moved down there on the farm, and that's where he raised the kid. They raised the kids. Oh, I think so. You sure took on a burden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. He didn't have any kids of his own? No. Then from the, he the, was uh, a nice man. What was, what was his first name? Mark. Mark. Marcus. Mark. Marcus. Mark. 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 Marcus is his name, I think. Mm -hmm. And Grandma Cabot's first name was? Ella. Ella. Ella? Ella Murphy. Ella Murphy. Is that her name? Ella Naomi. 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 Yeah, Ella Naomi. Ella Naomi. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Great Grandpa Shipley's first name was what? Wasn't your dad's name was George? You? Yeah. George. Was he another George? Mm -hmm. another George, George. W. George Washington Shipley. <laughs> really? <laughs> Born in February 21st. Really? Oh, that's appropriate. Glenn, Glenn was born in February 20th. 20th. Mm -hmm. Dad is 21st in Washington the next day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he was George Washington. Now, who's, who's missing from this picture? Yeah, My dad always Fred. said he was a Pennsylvania Dutch, or blue belly Yankee, as they call it. <laughs> well, so, well, which is German, right? Huh? They come over here and settled in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And they, they called those people of Pennsylvania Dutch. And of course, when they come this way, then that's what they said they were. Yeah. Well, I thought, I thought Pennsylvania Dutch came from Deutsch, meaning German. At that time, anybody that came from Pennsylvania would say, oh, I'm a Pennsylvania Dutch, oh. not because they were. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so Fred wasn't born when this picture was taken? Well, I don't think so. Fred was born in December 1908. He was three months old when Dad died. Uh, how old was Marie when Fred was born? Well, she was born in 1906. Well, well, this was so. This is a picture taken the same year that uh, that Fred was born, 1908. Uh -huh. Okay, so who we got here? We got Sadie. Sadie. That's Bruce. Down below, Marie. Reburn. Reburn. George. Reburn looked old even back mm -hmm. then. I mean, just mm -hmm. and Grandpa. Well, I wait a minute. Oh, yeah. George. George or Reburn. Yeah. And Madge. Uh, Madge. Now, is that all their real names? Yeah. Well, well, do we have right here? No, none no, of them. Madge no, no. was Harriet no. Madge. Sherman Bruce, Sarah Edna, Sarah Edna, uh, George, George Reburn, Ella Marie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ella Marie after Grandma Kelly. Yeah, Leonard, Leonard Floyd, and Who what Madge? was Madge? Harriet Madge. Harriet Madge. Harriet Madge. Sherman mm -hmm. Bruce. Sure. Now, really? now, what's the deal on that? <laughs> I don't know. I think they, I don't, maybe they used to do that. I don't ever heard of another family that had every one of the members that used the second name. I've, I've got five Elias. <laughs> but you in the Army, though, you had to be Leonard Floyd. Leonard Didn't F. They? Leonard F. And I uh, was postal with Leonard F. But, of course, Leonard Floyd was my full name, what they call me, Leonard F. Another fellow, my army buddy, Leonard F. Hammy. Leonard E. Hammy. Leonard F. Shipley were corporals, sergeants. Now, was was the army your first, well, the war started in 1916? 14. 14. What, when, you, when did you enlist? January 2nd, 1918. You were how old then? You were 18 years. 18 years. Uh, that was when the United States got more involved in it. That for, when it started at 14, wasn't it mostly Europe that was fighting? Yeah. yeah. Well, they got in a little earlier, in the, but... Uh, they got in in 1916. 
16 or something like that. I don't know. So you enlisted shortly after the United States? Oh, after it was a year or so after. Well, I got enlisted when I was old enough to go. And then, now, you said, okay, Reburn was in too because of that picture. Mm -hmm. Well, he went at the same and time. What, Bruce probably wasn't old enough then, was he? Oh, no. He never was in the service. Wasn't. Mm -hmm. Now, did you go to the Philippines right away when you enlisted? Is there a, I took the oath the 2nd of January, and by 8th of March, I was in the Philippines. Ooh. <laughs> okay, now, you were 18. You, you weren't married back. You weren't married at that time. No, oh, no, no. I never even knew him until he got back. Okay. The, uh, did, had you worked any place before then? Did you have any jobs before then? Or working any place? Yeah. Was it just on the farm? Just on the farm. As when you got back, you were a postal carrier. No? Not too. There's something in between when there? When I got back, I worked for Farmer's Elevator from uh, September to March. Then I went out and worked for Clyde Tracy, the old brother-in-law. That's where I met her. That's where I met her. I <laughs> picked her up on a skating rink. <laughs> oh, you were a pickup, huh? Mm, I guess so. Was that down at the... Uh, picked me up literally and... Was that down at the Bughouse Murphy skating <laughs> rink down by the tracks? No, it was down past, you know, where... Uh, where the big stood. Uh, oh. How about where Lois Jensen lived? Wasn't there a skating rink no. there? There was a skating rink and a vacant lot there then. Uh -huh. Between... Um, where Lang and Felt Repair is, is where oh, the right vacant lot, the square. Yeah. Okay. And this building of Matisse's wasn't there, so the, there was where okay. Between Brian's and then that. Oh, okay. Was it inside or was it? Oh, well, yeah, the skating Well, it was covered. In, in Brian's the other night, you said the, the skating rink used to yeah. be. Yeah. It was covered with a tent, wasn't it? Uh, kind of a tarp. Tarp? Yeah. Tent. And, then, and it went for. Oh, I don't know how long we've skated there quite a bit, anyhow. Now, Tracy's, you mentioned Tracy's. Now, that, that was Kate's husband. husband. What was his name? Clyde. 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 It's in there. Clyde in this book. Okay. Not, um, in, not in there, but in, in this one. It's in there, too. Oh, okay. Is it? Mm -hmm. All right, and that's where Ralph and Ellie come. That's in. where Ralph yeah. and Mildred's come. Mildred the other. There. That's their oldest. Mildred's the oldest, and then Ralph. Oh, okay. All right. Then, um, then they lost one and then down on Philip. Now, the, uh, so, so when did you become a postal carrier? What year was that? 21. 21 until? He farmed one year for Fenners, and then when the year ended, well, then he went in. But... I farmed in 21, and I went in and I started the mail in out October that year. What did I still farm? What did you look like back then? Oh, about the oh, same. About the <laughs> same. <laughs> well, it was. Yeah. Well, it didn't have the streets and stuff quite well. No. At one time, the youth was 640. Now they're down to 477. Um, Are they down to 477? But didn't it have boardwalks yet then? Marie took the census at that time, didn't mm -hmm. she? I don't know. I, I think believe so. it was. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, over they 600. had McGarrens and all that. Mm -hmm. All that bunch yeah. there. Well, we had one family who had 22 in it. Yeah. What was that kid's name? He was in either Ned's or Joyce's or Glenn's or somebody. Graham. <laughs> yeah. Graham. Those Grahams. Oh, that was my. the younger kids. Oh, Grahams and McGarrens made oh, up my. half the town. No, oh, I would think so. Then that would be back in yours and Ned's. McGarrens were around. Then Grahams, I. I barely Grams. remember them, but McGarren's. McGarren's yeah. lived down here where the Matisse has his weeds now down here. No, they live down on the other end of the street. They live down on the other end of the street. Well, the street. One down, there's but nothing one there now. Graham lived there. Graham lived down there where uh, <laughs> well, I know singers. I know McGarren's lived down there because Mrs. Yeah. Lisk and I, I went down too. there on well, a welfare. That's where they lived when I remember. And uh, that. We're old lady Baker. We're nobody. I mean, there's nobody, no house there no now. No house there now. Just but south that's of That's where we went, and I uh -huh. swear to God. Lord, that there. house had less rooms than the one that I the don't corner. care if it did. That's oh, why everybody. Rooms there. That's why everybody wondered how all those kids got in there. Yeah. Bed. <laughs> she had a great big uh, long bed thing, 
and that's where the kids all slept. And here was the bed that the parents slept in. And when we went there, this woman had pneumonia, which was no wonder. She had a new baby and pneumonia at the same time. Because <laughs> well, it sounds like she always had a new baby. Yeah. But, yeah, I think that was one of her last ones, so. And you could throw a cat through that building most any place. It yeah. was kind of a cool day when we went, but uh, <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Liska no, said, well, let's go to Park That's where the old lady threw out well with <laughs> Baker yeah. through well, that's yeah. where Al Beckers lived, and that's where my yeah. dad Aaron yeah. lived when we went that. there. But then I don't know where they lived any other time. Yeah. Well, and I know this Graham lived down here at this next corner. Mm -hmm. One of the pictures in the Centennial book had has you with the dirt streets and the boardwalk. Oh, yeah. Do you remember it? I mean, when that that was he about does. the time. He does. I don't because I didn't come into town that I much. I learned to roller skate and board sidewalk. That's no small feat. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, especially when With a board out. out every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Ever had a broken leg from that? Uh... I can remember the kids and even some of the older people get down and crawl under the sidewalk to see if they can find a yeah. dime or a yeah. or something. Oh, so let me get that was window. only in later. <laughs> Later years, with about the last time, when Carl John used to do that. Yeah, uh, yeah. and Solon, oh yeah, it was Carl John instead of Solon Gibbs. Mm. Yeah, Carl John was the one that did that. Now what happened to Marie? Heart huh? attack. Heart, Heart attack? Oh, mm -hmm. how, how old was she when that? 46, and she was born in 1906. She was 40. So in 52? She, she was 40. 40. She, was she was born in 46. And she died in 46. 46. 46, which was the same year that Fred died. Fred died. Now what? She she had a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Well, she had been complaining with pains through here, and she thought it was indigestion. And she had told me that she had she had had such pains there, and I said, well, maybe you should see the doctor about it. But of course, she didn't. And one night, she just died. And. Um, but I was just shocked to Grandma. Damn it, because that was her baby. <laughs> There's so one thing I don't remember is when they went, took their board side off, and put them somewhere. No, I. I I wasn't old enough to care whether they had any side There's quite a change when I was gone, though. Those two years I was gone, there was quite a change. Mm -hmm. That's probably when it did. That, that's about what it happened. Um, no. I, I don't remember the board of sidewalks. And I come in town in, nine, in the fall of 1916 to start school, and I don't remember the board of sidewalks then. Well, do you remember your first time coming into town? Oh, Lord, no. Coming in to stay, you mean? Or well, I mean, I come just, in just coming in to... Oh, we used to... How'd you get around back then, too? We had horse and buggy. And in the winter, we had a horse and sleigh. And when we were little, <coughs> we had a bobsled and also a little sleigh. Just like, looks like you've seen the pictures. Mm -hmm. That was kind of nice to ride in, but I wasn't too crazy about the bobsled. I thought it was awful rough. <laughs> it was two bunches of sleds well, on the you wagon. Know, you didn't have many cars in town <coughs> after no, they had the itching, end of the war. <coughs> they had itching posts. And in the middle of the street, they had a big watering thing for you to water your horses. Could you park your horses in the middle of the street like you no, do your cars we, now? No, <laughs> we had the pitching posts along the edge of the street. I thought maybe the crazy parking pattern you had downtown maybe started a little bit. The streets was just on the sides is where you parked the horses. The middle of the street was open, and free. If anybody got into trouble, he would throw them in the water tank. <laughs> now, what year, what what year did uh, Dick Kate pass away? Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. She died of cancer. Mm -hmm. She would. Now she was no, older than. She did, she was fifty-nine years mm -hmm. old. Kate. She didn't die in fifty-nine no. because Scott. She died in sixty-one or two. Yeah. Scott was she, she, she was fifty-nine years old. Okay, and in fifty, and she died in sixty-two. Okay. Or 69. That's what she was. She was 69. Let's see. I'll look it up. I'm not sure. 
Well, yeah, she had to be 69 because you were born yeah. in 1904 and she died in 61 or so. And it was, she was 69, I know. She, she was, was 13 years older than you. Mm -hmm. Now is this, that, that's a picture right there of... My dad and her and his sister. Yeah, that's Aunt Mary? Mm -hmm. Now whatever became of her? Well, she died. Uh, she died at her daughter's house, I guess, up at, by Smithland. One of her daughters lived up there, but up there to stay with her, and that's she stayed with them until she died. And <coughs> Did he have red hair, Dr. Thompson? No, <coughs> he had black hair. Black hair? in Dennis in July 1875. And he was supposed to be 13. Yeah, that's what we said, didn't we? He was 13 years old. And on November 1887, he was united in marriage to Ida Jane Wheeler, and to this union was born five sons and two daughters. Do you know, I mean, how does a 13-year-old come to this to this country? Do you, did he have to pay his way over? Or? Do you know anything? I don't know whether he did or whether this come. I don't. I think I don't remember how they had that fixed. They, whether the one that sponsored them had to pay half or whatever it was. But he and his uh, brother came together. And of course, Uncle Pete was younger than Dad, wasn't he? Now, you, your kids. What year? Oh, I think he was older. Well, then that was what it was. Then. What What year were all your kids born? Well, Ned was born in 23, bam, twice, <laughs> twice in 25, and Ned in uh, 36, and Jean in 39. 39. Ned and Jean, I didn't realize that there was that much of a gap, I guess it really is, between yeah, Ned and, and Mom. So you had your hands full then for, with those two. Yeah. Um, I had some good babysitters, though. <laughs> how many, do you remember how many great grandkids, you, or how many grandkids and great grandkids you have? Thirteen grandchildren, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or is that grand, great, great, is that great, great? No, you have a lot. Thirteen, Thirteen grandchildren and, uh, let's see. Thirteen One. <laughs> Nine. Nine great grandkids? I thought, for some reason, I thought there were more than that. No, I don't think so. You see, Penny has one, and um, oh. Tim, Penny, Tim has one, and Craig only has one that's his own. And um, then uh, Susan has three. So that would be uh, seven. Janie has two. Janie has two. Ain't she my great grandchild? Sure, sure, sure. Mine and then Heidi. You is 
my too, my great grandchild. Yes, you are. Oh, she's sleepy. <laughs> it's sleepy when somebody died. Oh, Kate. She had that here someplace. And Fred. Oh, here's your mother with the governor. With... Well, mother, you've got to start keeping better company. <laughs> yeah. What she's. <laughs> she's giving uh, of course, something. she's she's yapping right away. She's talking there. <laughs> I see. There's two pictures there. She's talking in both of them. Oh, there they are, a whole bunch of them. Oh, is that the uh, soldier community? Soldier Betterment. Well, and they... Something about the building down there. Uh, Betterment. Which school house was built in when? Right. Soldier. 1923. The Legion House? Oh, the brick. Cool. I see. I didn't see that when I first came. What was so special about that? Oh, I don't know. It's flew out. Was that your first flight? That might have been your first so. flight. 75. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ninety-seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ninety-five. What's that mean? <laughs> Three, seventy-five, ninety-five. I don't know what it means. Oh, well, that's a number Flight, flight number. That's probably, didn't you fly out to uh, Washington? Yeah. Had to see Ralph and Ellen? Mm -hmm. Back to Denver, huh? Mm -hmm. There's the... <laughs> Craig Corn completes. Never be another one like him. <laughs> This is different classes with the reunion. You're probably too far. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you're looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let me that. Yeah, place. I thought that was toward the front. Is it? The maybe mark. It was kind of like a bookmark kind of thing, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. These are some commencement pilgrims. Why do you save so much? How, how do you decide what to say? Well, it's sometimes hard. Sometimes, sometimes I throw something away and I wish I'd kept it, and sometimes I keep something I wish I'd thrown away, so... That's great. i got to start doing that. Mm -hmm. See, I thought it was around that big. Francis Chamberlain. Well, maybe. Looks like you need a new book. Yeah. I do. What did I do with all the stuff that's in there? Two grammar I got it, too. <laughs> what did you say you're looking for? That cage death notice that's enclosed in plastic. Oh gosh, I haven't seen that picture for a long time. Now here's another one. Oh yeah. You probably just as soon I forget that one. <laughs> Class of 1942, uh, holds reunion. Heck, that wasn't news every time anybody comes to town. You got an advertisement there. Oh, yeah. Well, I swear. Things in there that I've forgotten about. <coughs> is, is, uh, oh, what, there was one story I wanted to ask you to. The, uh, there's a picture up in that box of you sitting on a mule. Uh -huh. What do you mean, uh huh? Like you do that every day? How that? Well, I really? had a, that was my donkey. That was uh, my donkey, and um, I'd ride it around, and, and it would let me ride, and would go pretty good. 
But if so, a couple of the kids come out in town, and if they got on that and just stand it still, and I don't care, you can beat it, you can pound it, pull its tail, pull its head, you try to get it to go, and it wouldn't move. And uh, What was its name? That was an old fly. No, old fly was mom's horse. That was a mare horse that we rode. Is, is that the donkey? I mean, you like you would ride that from the farm into town? Oh no, no. Yes. Oh, lady. Okay. Thank you. No, her, her donkey. No, I never rode her off the. I never got to ride it because it was a kind of a mean little devil, and if you get it away, it wouldn't do anything. I'd be stuck because I couldn't handle it if it didn't want to do anything it wouldn't. There it is. Funeral services for Mrs. Susan Tracy. It says 68. Yeah, I suppose. That who died at Artinas, California. To be held Wednesday at the Christian Church, Reverend Epper Epperson will officiate. Burial will be in St. Clark Cemetery under the direction of Walter Funeral. Mrs. Tracy was born in 19, 1892. Is that what you said? Huh? 1892. Kate? Three. Three. No, 91. If you said first she was, or she was 13. She, she was 11 years older. Huh? She was 11 years oh, older. Kate was, well then, yeah, 93. Well, anyhow, she was a member of the Christian Church and a 50 year yeah, member of the Easter Stars. Survivors include two sons, Philip and Ralph of Tacoma, two daughters, Mrs. Paul Parrish and Mildred Young of Antioch, and a sister, Mrs. Floyd Chippy of Ute, two brothers, Howard the Smith and Percy of Lawton. That said she died in what year? No, no, it says her age was 68. I know, and she was born so and so. It don't say what year she died. Oh, July 1st, 1961. Is it died the year you started school? Because I was in kindergarten. I remember that. The year you were born. It's 1961. As your kindergarten. She was here when he was born. Okay. She went to Mexico. Is she died in California? Yeah. Well, she had been. What were they doing in California? Well, they moved out there because Clyde and Mildred took off and went out there in 1936, and they didn't come back. And they finally talked to me into coming out. I think she was always sorry if she went because she never really liked it out there too well. She never got it. You know, older people don't get a chance to do that. And she never did any kind of shit. What do you want, honey? She wants more on these plates. I don't know what she wants on. Well, it's in the refrigerator, whatever. There's two brushes. What do you want? I guess that's it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's.